Hello everyone and welcome to another new video and this one gonna be from the bottom to the top from the worst book that I read to the you know um, most amazing book that I read this week so actually there wasn't really any bad books this week um, you know all of them were actually good but you know it was just for the ranking I guess so so I read totally 14 comic books this week which are really good you know there they weren't bad all the time as i said earlier but uh let's start this countdown with the 14th place goes to bell issue number two this issue was great actually i like the cover the art uh, work is still going on in a good way i liked the cliffhanger in the end um Everything was good about this issue. You could always check out my reviews on all these titles that I read right down below. I'm going to put them in the description. So uh, here's, you know, um, a sneak peek on the art. It's looking really good. I really love the art here. Uh, it's unique, I guess. It's different than all the other arts that we have out there. So what took my 13th place? Actually, I was shocked about it. Um, there wasn't much of progression in this issue. For some reason I just didn't think that it was wow. So this one went for the Punisher issue number 4. Uh, I like the cover. The covers are always amazing. The story was great. We saw some flashbacks. But I don't think uh, it was that great. You know, uh, you could always check out the review down below in the description. And uh, let's see. In the 12th place, we got another good comic book, actually, it's one of my favorites so far from uh, the company IDW, um, and it's Rogue Trooper, issue number 2. This issue was really amazing, I really enjoyed reading it, uh, the cliffhanger was good, uh, we saw how he got, you know, into this whole thing, and they're still talking about the Quartus so Zone and some other stuff, which were pretty good and amazing and here's you know uh, a sneak peek on how the art looks like for example if you are thinking about reading it because this is my first time reading anything to do with uh, Rogue Trooper and uh, I love the character so far you know it's unique uh, it's cool you know I love just I just love the character so anyway uh, let's see 11th place uh, it's a new self-titled comic book that just launched from Marvel I was surprised that I didn't really like it uh, I don't know, maybe because I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff, I don't know, I just didn't like it for some reason, you know, I'm not the only one actually, a lot of people were complaining about it, so it was for Inhuman, 11th place for Inhuman, I love the art, the art is so good in this book, uh, it was written by Charles uh, Soul and uh, I don't know, it just didn't attract me much, but I'm still gonna read issue number two. I'm gonna see where they're going with it. We saw a new character that just got their new powers, and I think it's uh, cool, you know. We're still gonna check it out. We're gonna see where issue two gonna take me to. So let's see what else we got. In the tenth place, we got another good comic book. I liked it this week, and uh, this book was Action Comics issue number 30. Um, this book was, you know, a preparation for the story arc of Doomsday, and I loved everything about it, you know, they started off with Doomsday and they showed us some other great stuff, uh, it was pretty cool, you know, the art is good, the writing is good, we saw the soft side of Superman again, which was pretty cool, and which, you know, is totally different than Man of Steel, easy. Anyway, uh, in the ninth place we got this comic book, which is doing a lot of good progression right now. Uh, I loved it, I enjoyed it, and it was for New Warriors issue number 3. Uh, a good comic book, great cover, they did all of progression, we saw that the team is finally getting all together, you know, uh, from the side of Nova, Scott Spider, and uh, Hummingbird, and the other girl who was her name actually. Uh, one second guys, uh, Water Snake, yeah, so I saw that right in the review, actually I forgot her name in the review when I was doing it, so it was pretty cool, you know, we see two teams are doing some two different stuff, which was pretty cool and pretty interesting at the same time, so in the 8th place we got um, 
one of the good comic books that are currently going on and I love this comic book and it was launched by Image and this comic book is Starlight I love the cover he looks so sad so upset but I love it uh, he makes this kid from space and the kid needs his help for uh, uh, you know to save his planet the planet that he saved 40 years ago, which was pretty cool and pretty interesting I really like this issue. It was a great issue Let me give you a sneak peek on the art and how the art looks like Here here we go. This is the kid who's 86 years old which equals 12 years old on earth Amazing right? I love it. You know, I love the concept. Uh, I just loved this book from the first time I read the first issue the first issue was really good so let's see what we got the seventh place we got this book which actually even doing a lot of good progression and this book is Black Widow issue number five I guess so yeah issue number five it's issue number five Black Widow um, a great comic book um, it's going on somewhere right now we are kind of seeing a main villain in the comic book after she killed uh, Spoiled it alert. I almost spoiled it. Actually, I spoiled it already in my review. You could all check it out down uh, You know, <laughs> she did something really cool the way that person died was pretty cool as well Yeah, someone died in the issue. Anyway, um, let's see what we got the sixth place goes to another good comic book uh, And it was Earth to issue number 22 Great cover Green Lantern is on it we saw Green Lantern in the first uh, few panels and after that we didn't see him anymore but it's pretty interesting they're preparing for uh, you know Green Lantern the comeback and then uh, in the end of the you know in the end of the issue we saw a great cliffhanger I can't wait to see what's gonna happen and here's a sneak peek to how Green Lantern came back oh, hold on a sec okay here we go it's pretty cool you know uh, pretty awesome actually I love it and uh, that was it for the sixth place so let's see the fifth place goes to one of my favorite comic books that's going on right now and uh, it's a great comic book you know um, I loved issue number two of Moon Knight what I loved about it is the story and uh, I loved the new suit Hold on, let me get it for you guys. The new suit is just amazing. Uh, it's better than the suit in number one. I don't know what they're actually planning to do with this comic book yet. Uh, are they gonna keep on doing some issues with different stories, with different suits, or is it gonna be some kind of story arc? I don't know. Even there was this uh, cliffhanger in issue number one they showed us, and I was looking forward to issue number two to see what that pigeon guy or bird guy was all about so here's the new suit of Moon Knight which I prefer on issue in, in the one actually on uh, issue number one it's uh, cool amazing I love it and let's see we got in the fourth place another great comic book uh, you know it's one of my favorites so far um, where is it one second guys okay here we go and you know we saw the progression in this book as well and the fourth place goes to Magneto issue number two I love this issue um, the cover is amazing actually the moment I saw the cover when I saw this eye right here I saw this eye I was like oh are we getting some kind of a tie-in for original sin or something so uh, that's what I thought actually the first time I saw the cover but the story inside was um, you know a great story I, like, I really loved it you know it's one of my favorite comic books that's going on right now so what we got in the third place we got another new comic book that got launched by Marvel and uh, it's simply one of my favorites this week and it was for Deadpool versus Carnage issue number one and uh, the art on the cover looks good but thank god it's not the one that's inside the book as well of course it was written by Colin Bunn and uh, first time actually uh, you know I started to read something for uh, Carnage I never read Carnage in my life so uh, the moment I started reading he was like all funny it was, he was a funny type guy which actually makes sense you know Deadpool and Carnage together and then imagine them both of them on 
you know, uh, in one comic book, a team up comic book, I think that would be freaking great. So I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek, guys, on the art of this book, which is amazing. I love the art here. Uh, okay, so man, here we go. Oh, the great art for that bull and carnage, and the writing as well. Great. And I forgot to mention that Magneto is actually even written by Colin Bunn, which is amazing. And I was surprised, and I was like, oh, okay, now I understand. That's why I love this book so much. You know, it, it's written by one of my favorite writers so far. So let's see what we got in our second place. We, okay, second place goes for another good comic book that just launched, and I suggest that to everyone who want to jump to, to who want to jump on like uh, a new comic book. Um, and it's uh, for Batman, Detective Comics. Great cover, all of the art here. He is the same artist who did the art for uh, The Flash, from starting from issue number one. Uh, great, great art, great story. Uh, it deserves it actually, and we're going somewhere with the story. Uh, you know, we see here like the Batman here with much darker tone. Than the one we saw in uh, the Flash, um, I think it's just simply a good book to read and to jump on because uh, this is my first time reading Detective Comics issue number 30. And the moment I knew that there was a new team on the books, so I was like, "Hey, yeah, I gotta give it a shot." And it's one of my favorite team uh, writer and artist are on the same book that I always wanted to jump on, but just didn't have the time. So the first place goes to another comic book that just got launched and. Uh, I loved everything about this comic book. Uh, I thought it was just great, and uh, Cliffhanger was my favorite. Uh, and this book goes, and actually, I mean, this place goes to this book Aquaman and the Others. Yep, indeed, it is. Aquaman and the Others, a great addition to Aquaman, a uh, great addition to this universe. The Cliffhanger was just freaking amazing. Uh, it's not a normal, it's not a usual cliffhanger, no, it's not. It's a cliffhanger that actually leads us to the greatest event of, Ma uh, of uh, DC Comics that's coming on the way around June, I guess so, or May, I can't remember. And its future ends. Let me show you, I can't hold it. You guys could check out my review for it in the description below. I already... Uh, in the video I already you know uh, placed a panel where they actually showed us yeah here we go future ends the cliffhanger for this book was amazing here we go it's like amazing I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know how bad maybe all this even involved in this but it's fucking amazing that's all I gotta say about this book uh, it's just great so that was a pretty much guys for my bottom to top list you know um, the worst to the best and Aquaman and the others was the best you gotta give the shot guys you can all jump in on this uh, comic book right now and just can't catch up with it and you can't catch up with other books like Magneto and Moon Knight these two are great comic books uh, I suggest you guys to go and read it it's good one and you could always check out indie comics like um, Starlight. Starlight is another comic book as well. You could check it out. And that's very much, guys, for this video. Uh, if you think I missed or I, you know, misplaced my ranking for these comics, please let me know. Uh, let me know what was your best pick of this week and what was the worst pick of the week. Write down below. And uh, thank you all, guys, for watching. Hopefully, I'll be doing more of these videos week by week. If I didn't in a week or something, I would be busy. Because even right now, I'm not busy, but you know, I'm gonna be busy starting from uh, around May. I'll have some assignments and some university shit to do. Anyway, so thank you all guys for watching and uh, see you guys around. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and see you guys around. Take care.